Hello guys and welcome to part 5 of the random level generation tutorial. Um, first off, I really want to say thank you for the 5,000 subscribers. Uh, that's a lot. Um, I think it's like... Let me, let me see. That's like 50 cinemas, guys. That's a lot. Like, that's really cool. Thank you, guys. Um, so, in this video, we are going to create our walls for our generator. So, when we generate our level, we want to add some walls, of course, so the player can't walk out. And I think the way we are going to do that is uh, by getting some values. So, we're going to get the minimum uh, Y position of the uh, lowest tile, and the highest Y, and the... Uh, uh, lowest x value and the highest x and out of those values we are going to create our walls and also we want to do so there is uh, so there is uh, more uh, walls so we can look out of the level so you're going to see what I mean so we're actually going to need some extra walls so the camera won't go out of the level and see some weird background um, so that's what we're going to do in this video. Uh, so let's get started. Um, let me just zoom in here. That's too much. Uh, we're going to need some uh, variables for the wall generating generation. Uh, so we're going to need a public float minimum y. And that's going to be a high value because that's what our algorithm needs and then we need one for the uh, max y and that's going to be zero and then we need the same thing for the x values Ooh, max x yeah and then we need two other variables and those are going to be the yeah, that should be a float. Not really, but that will cause us some problems. But uh, x amount, that is going to be the amount of tile, uh, walls on the x-axis. And the same for the y. And there we go. And then we want some extra walls. Uh, Public field extra wall y. Okay, so what we are going to do is basically find the lowest point of the generation and the highest for both the x and y, and out of those values we can create our walls. So um, we need to check if our generation is done, and yeah, I've Put that right there. Um, and the way we're going to do that is basically check if i is equals to tile amount. Tile amount minus 1. And then we're going to call a uh, maybe a finish function. Uh, yeah, let's call it finish. So we know we are finished. When we are finished, we're going to call this finish function, and in this function, we're call, going to call another function which is going to create the walls. Okay, so finish. So we're calling this now, and this basically checks if i is right on the tile amount, which which means it uh gets called only once when it is finished so that's, that's nice and in the finish we want to call another function that we're going to create now and that's going to be called uh, create wall values and we need another function called create walls nice so we're going to call the create wall values first 
and then afterwards we are going to call the create walls. Nice. Um, in the create wall values, we want to do some tricky stuff. So we are going to go through all the tiles that we've created, and then we're going to find the lowest and the highest uh, x and y positions. And we're going to do that by creating another for loop. Int zero i is under tile uh, created tiles dot count and then i plus plus good and then we're going to say if tiles uh, create tiles i uh, dot y is less than minimum y then we want to set the minimum y to the created tiles i dot y so this checks if the current uh, tile that we are looking at is lower than the minimum y uh, which is here uh, which it probably should uh, then we're going to assign it and then we're going to say if created tiles i dot y is bigger than max y then we're going to set the max y max y please equals to created tiles y dot y and we're going to do the same thing for the x if created tiles dot x is less than minimum x then we want to set the you know what what what's this oh <laughs> there we go uh if let's just copy it it's faster um is bigger than max x good oh we need a semicolon here so now we got the values now we just need to assign them to the x and y amount so uh Maybe no. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay. X amount, which is the x amount of tiles, be equals to max x uh, minus minimum x divided by the tile size good plus extra wall x. So what we're going, uh, what we're doing here is uh, getting the distance between the uh, max x and minimum x, and then dividing it with the tile size to get it in tiles, and then we are adding some extra walls to it. And for the y amount, we're going to do the same thing, just with the y, max y. Divided with tile size plus extra wall y. Okay, so now I think we can create our walls. And let me just see here we got our x amount, y amount. Nice. Okay, so we're going to create uh, a nested for loop here for the x and y because you know it's x amount times y amount uh, walls we're going to create. So int x equals to zero, x is under x amount, x plus plus. And then we're going to do the same thing just for the y. 
here. Y. Y. And Y. Okay, so we want to make sure that there isn't any tiles where we create the wall. And that's going to be pretty tricky. But we're going to check if created tiles dot contains if it doesn't contain anything on this position which is vector 3 uh, minimum x minus uh, extra wall x times tile size tile size please there we go divided by 2 plus uh, x times tile size and then we want to do the same for the y so minimum y minus extra wall y times tile size there we go divided by 2 plus y times oh, please uh, y times tile size good okay we don't have any errors here no okay and then we want to basically instantiate a wall on that position um, so we're going to instantiate a wall on that position. So instantiate wall new vector three, and that's basically going to be the same position as, the, as this one right here. Uh, here, uh, there we go. Comma uh, transform what? Oh, transform dot rotation and. Y rotation. There we go. Just good. Fine. So now we are instantiating our wall at this position right here, which is um, at the current tile uh, we are at, or uh, the current uh, wall that we're creating. Okay, so now let's go into Unity again and see how it goes. No errors, good. And let's put some extra walls on this. Um, 10 extra walls, apply, display. Okay. So we got some extra walls here. Always nice. Um, I think it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I think it's five on each side. It's like uh, ten divided by two. Um, so we might put it, uh, set it to a high number, but also it can only be something that can be divided by two or uh, the power of two. I guess because if we put it to something like fifteen. It's the value is of course going to be uh, different and have a decimal number which will mess up the generation. So make sure that, as you can see here, uh, so make sure that it is also always uh, can be divided by two with no decimals uh, afterwards. So sixteen works fine, and you know. Just make sure that it can be divided by two. Else the generation won't work properly. But we got our walls. It's nice. Everything works. So that's cool. Um, for your information, I have created a new website uh, at GucciDevs.com. And I will be creating a written uh, version of this tutorial series. And... Also, a tutorial series how to uh, make perfect uh, pixel perfection. 
so there won't be these kind of bleeding uh, or spaces between your pixel art in your game as you can see here so follow me on twitter i will be putting up uh, tweets whenever i upload something new on youtube my portfolio and my website and also tutorials so that's it for now uh the next one we're probably going to create some corridors so it will be more varied uh, generation and thank you for your 5000 subscribers guys and thank you for watching see you next time goodbye guys